so there's been a lot of uh, talk and speculation about changes to the open game license, the OGL, um, in the last couple of days, and I uh, need to talk about that and how it impacts this YouTube channel and my blog, and that's what we're going to do today on Greyhawk Grognard. <laughs> So today, the actual text of the proposed OGL 1.1 has been leaked to the public. Um, and I need to preface everything that I'm about to say uh, uh, based on the idea that uh, I, I'm, I'm basing my thoughts on that text. Um, if, they, if the official release of the OGL 1.1 is different than what has been leaked, then obviously my comments here will have to be, um, you know, uh, amended. <laughs> um, but basically speaking, uh, what I do here on the YouTube channel is covered under the fan content policy that is published by Wizards of the Coast. It is not affected by changes in the open game license. Um, so the, this channel will likely uh, be unaffected by the changes. I'll keep talking about uh, Greyhawk um, and modules and books and characters and all that kind of good stuff. None of that stuff is changed at all because the it, that's all covered by the um, game, uh, the, the, the fan content policy. The blog, however, is a different story. Um, quite a bit of material that is there uh, either in blog posts or in um, the free resources section of the blog is, in fact, um, falls under the the OGL 1.0. Um, specifically, I'm thinking of the uh, World of Greyhawk 5e material. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, if you're at all interested in getting the 5th edition uh, Greyhawk material that I've written, uh, there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pages of it, um, go to the blog, go to the free resources section, and download it now. Um, it is entirely likely that in a week it's not going to be there because, um, frankly, the OGL 1.1 is a non-starter uh, as, as it's been leaked. It is completely unfair. It is completely... Um, it, it completely strips rights of creators. Um, it, it's, it's terrible. Uh, it, it makes the... the, the the old uh, uh, game system license under D&D 4.0, 4 uh, it makes that look like a picnic. Um, and I think that's its intent, honestly. I think it's designed to drive third-party publishers out of the business. Um, you know, and uh, I am one. <laughs> but uh, I'm, this, this is not, I'm not talking about BRW games at this point. I'm only talking about the free material that is available on my blog. Um, Go there now and download everything that's in the free resources section. Now's the time. Um, the other, a lot of the other stuff, uh, the articles from Dragon Magazine, they are not going to be impacted because they don't use material that's in the system resource document, uh, the SRD. So you know things like the Armies of Greyhawk, uh, you know, they there's nothing in there that's that's covered by the. Uh, by the SRD, so there's nothing in there that I need to worry about. Um, that's all covered under the fan content policy, and it's in those doc. The fan content policy is in those documents for a reason. Um, there might be a few uh, things in my uh, articles uh, here and there that uh, would be covered under the the new license. And uh, if I, I'm going to go through my stuff, and if I see anything that looks like it would fall under that category, that stuff will be removed. Um, I don't know what that is yet. I haven't gone through this exercise um, yet. But uh, again, I would urge everyone, go on to the go onto my website, click on the free resources tab at the top, and start downloading those PDFs. Um, because I don't know what's still going to be there a week from today. Um, you know, I hate to say it. I hate, I hate that we're at this point, but there it is. Um, uh, Wizards of the Coast seems hell-bent on uh, driving out third-party publishers uh, from doing anything in the Dungeons & Dragons space, and I just hope they don't turn their tender mercies uh, onto the fan community that is supporting their... Uh, their settings. 
even settings that are not in print at the moment. So, anyway, there we are. Uh, I'm not going to put the, uh, the the Patreon supporters on this one because this is more of a rant, um, more of a uh, you know, could court controversy, as it were. Uh, so, anyway. Uh, there it is. Have a wonderful night, and I will uh, talk to you all later. I will keep you all posted. Um, if you want to support uh, what I have done and can, will try to continue to do on the channel, please consider joining the channel as a member or uh, uh, going over to the Patreon and um, and joining there. Uh, you'll, you'll be helping me uh, continue to make new Greyhawk material for free as long as Wizards of the Coast lets me. Good night.